playing a lot of solo games as I mentioned earlier and uh, Wargaming has been a pretty big part uh, lately slowly switching over to the modern wars what I consider World War One and up uh, I got two pretty big uh, World War Two games uh, the planes uh, air warfare uh, being a Navy guy I haven't quite I'm not quite there yet still I still prefer the, the previous wars or conflicts or history previous history that's a better term uh, I'm gonna go through you can see the stack here I'll go through them what I've been playing in the past and some of the newer ones and I'll mention some uh, one that I'm most likely gonna be picking up this week if available uh, we'll start the list with the Doolittle Raid this was the first one I picked up uh, taking me over to the modern uh, wars uh, basically because of the the theme this one's pretty cool uh, I saw some videos there's so many uh, I wouldn't say youtubers video uh, makers uh, people doing videos on war games and the war game community I think right now from what I've seen is excellent uh, and they do. I don't see how they can't get people hooked. Everybody's so friendly, see, at least from my perspective, from what I see. Uh, so please be kind. Uh, this one has multiple aspects. I've only gone through uh, the very basics of it. I've seen somebody recently just go through the whole thing, and uh, it looks pretty awesome. So this is something I, one of these things I have forever. It's one of these days. I always stack up all these games. You always think you're one of these days when I got nothing else to do, you'll play them all. Well, I have a lot of free time now. Uh, so that's Doolittle Raid. Uh, next one I'm going to point out is one I did a couple of videos on. And uh, David Thompson reached out to me, as he has with many people. A lot of uh, designers in this uh, industry tend to be uh, very welcoming. Uh, this one, again, Modern Conflicts, Wars, whatever you want to call it, Modern History. And uh, this one's pretty cool. Uh, the theme is unique. Uh, 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 I did some videos. I liked it. Uh, I want to fit. I never got through the whole campaign. I'm almost done, so I do want to get through the whole thing. Uh, it's a very simple game, and uh, just the theme is unique. Uh, switching over, we'll just switch down the list. Uh, this is one I picked up. Uh, again, uh, Revolutionary War. I'm a fan of it. You can see uh, the supply lines of the American Revolution. Uh, it's a little different game where you're uh, you're trying to keep your supply lines connected. Uh, I like this one. It's unique. Uh, I'm liking these unique games from so many uh, publishers. Uh, we'll save this one for last. Another one that I did a video on last time, about a year ago, and this one finally came out. Uh, the Magnificent Style Pickets Charge. Uh, this is actually my favorite uh, push of luck game right now, beating out all these other type of board games. Uh, I like the theme, obviously. And uh, this game is extremely hard. Uh, again, Herman Luttman game. Uh, another one of those designers that's out there in the community. Very helpful, open, nice. And uh, this game, I love this game. This version is, uh, I wouldn't say it's better than the, the little one up there. But uh, it does replace from the chips to the cards. And a much bigger board. I like this one. Another one I picked up a few months ago and I've been playing quite a bit of actually is the American Revolution, The Hidden Strike. It's a very simple card driven game. Extremely hard. I have not won it yet and I must have played this thing over 20 times. Uh, maybe I need to sit down and start really strategizing and looking at my cards and but it is extremely hard. I love the looks of it, the cards, the theme. I'm in as soon as I saw the cover and uh, there's another one I've been playing. Saratoga 1777 is the last one I picked up. I think it's the whole set now that I have of this block style games are very simple. Again, we do play them solo. Uh, you're supposed to have that hidden movement, that hidden information, but hey, you know, uh, I'm liking this one. I'm liking all of them. I uh, just put out all the blocks. It does take some setup time, but uh, you can get all the blocks out, move them around, take your time. I got a big table there, just kind of switch around. Uh, There's another one I like, the theme. The box looks pretty. Saratoga 1777. Go down to the little one here. Maki. This one is a Kickstarter crowdfunding. I don't want to keep saying Kickstarter. Uh, came out. Small box. Uh, nice theme. I got it basically because of the theme. Another modern history game. Uh, very nice theme. Uh, the Nazi occupation of France. It's kind of a pandemic stock game. 
you're moving around trying to uh, basically survive the round, the game. Uh, very nice theme, small package. It's a nice game, a lot of people are liking this one. Uh, we'll go to the one that I just recently got, and that is B29 Super Fortress. It is, uh, it's not a game, it's a simulation, uh, and I really noticed that. I just have a lot of steps. This is one of the heavier games for me. I wish there were more videos on this. I've been trying to reach out to people, see if they know of any more videos. So, you know, people have posted videos on these or an easier way to get through it. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's simple. I'm a simple man. I need help. Uh, but I got through the basic uh, without the special rules, the, the complex rules. I like this one. Uh, I like the look of it. And a lot of these, a lot of you guys have turned me on to this one. And target for today uh, this one I haven't played it yet I got it with that one from the same uh, publisher and uh, this one everybody says is, is the go-to uh, it's a heavy game I'm looking forward to uh, having some some time and just put it on the table and slowly learn it play it I would love to do some cool videos on it but other people are doing a much better job so I'll leave it to them but uh, thanks for pointing this one out I know you guys have pointed out the other one the Korea one and some other ones and some and I appreciate that. I will most likely do get those. However, I'm still liking uh, the earlier uh, history. With that being said, there is a game out from Legion War Games. They have a series of the Indians Americans Wars. I'm gonna put a picture somewhere here. It's uh, it's a uh, it's a set of three games. Uh, as soon as I saw that a few days ago, I'm gonna be ordering that. I'm hope all three of them are there. I'm liking the whole Indians War during that time. Uh, got Custer's Last Stand here, which I'm really liking. And I know there's a few more out there. I like to pick up one more. And it's kind of the same game over and over again. But I do love that time period. So I'll probably go pick up that, that trilogy, that series of three. And uh, get that to the table. So that's a stack of a whole bunch of games uh, that I've been playing lately. Uh, I will be adding some new ones this week. As I need this, you know. Yeah, we need any more. So uh, any recommendations, I would love those. If you can just post them down there. I know this community does a lot of that. And I thank everybody for that. You guys take care.